Well, the dog didn't tell me it was going to bite me. Yeah, don't stick your hand up people's cars. How about that? Hi, guys. Welcome back to another episode of Breed Review. I'm Liam Murphy, and today I'll be reviewing rescue dogs. Okay, guys, I know what you're saying. You're very confused. You're like, wait a minute. Why is he wearing another hoodie? It's supposed to be flannels. I know. I've run out of them. Okay, this seems to be a work stoppage at home. I don't know what's going on. We'll get to the bottom of it, but the flannels will be back soon enough. But I do know what you're saying. This is not a breed. I get it. However, I am going to be primarily only doing pure breed dogs, but I figured with all the rescue dogs out there in the world, I think they deserve their shot to be on camera, don't you? A lot of people nowadays are choosing to go with a rescue option as opposed to buying from breeders, which is great. Either way is great in my mind. Whichever you want to do, your choice. As long as you're a good dog owner, it doesn't matter to me. Now, in all the years of working with dogs, I've worked with tons and tons of rescue dogs. I would say they make up about 25 to 30% of all the dogs that I've worked with. They come in many different shapes and sizes, coat types, personalities. I've seen just about all types. So this obviously is going to be a typical review where I can't talk about their health, temperaments, all that's going to, because it's such a wide variety. But maybe I can dispel some of the myths that are out there about rescue dogs and help anybody out there who's thinking about rescuing a dog but may have some reservations in doing so. Okay, so rescue dogs. Where do they come from? Well, they come from Tennessee. Okay, they don't all come from Tennessee, but a ton of them do. I, I don't know what it is. What's going on in Tennessee? I don't know if Arkansas is just like, you know, put them over in Tennessee. And I love Tennessee. Don't, I'm not trying to make fun of you. I'm, I'm kidding. I'm half kidding. I'm not kidding. I'm dead serious. You guys get a ton of homeless dogs. What's going on? But I, all kidding aside, I have been to Tennessee a lot and I really do like the state. So please, if you're from Tennessee, relax. I'm just joking. But you do have a ton of homeless dogs. All right, but they do come from all over. A lot of times when I hear people tell me, we're thinking about rescuing a dog, but we're worried that the dog's going to have mental problems, it's going to have issues, it was probably abused, it was or neglected, maybe it's mixed with a coyote, I don't know. People worry about all types of things when it comes to rescue dogs. And I'll tell you this right now, not all rescue dogs were abused. A lot of times dogs are just lost in like natural disasters, such as like a major hurricane, flooding, other types of natural disasters, fires, for example, like you see out in California right now. So a lot of people can be displaced from their homes. And in some cases, the owners of these dogs, unfortunately, enough to have a network of support that could either help foster the dog until they get back on their feet or adopt the dog. So they have no choice but to surrender to a shelter. Now that's not to say that a lot of these dogs haven't been through a lot of traumatic experiences. Sure they have. Certainly being removed from your environment or even whether it was good or bad is going to be traumatic for them. You know, maybe they were, you know, in a house where, you know, they, they had the same owners for, for four or five years and they were used to it. They had a routine and now something's happened, whether the owner may have, may have unfortunately passed away or have gotten sick or can't afford to care for the dog, and now they're into a completely different environment. And, and I'm saying these rescue places do a great job, don't get me wrong, but they're in a position now where they're with a, a lot of strange dogs, strange environment. It can be stressful on them. Maybe they did come from an abusive household, and certainly that dog's gonna have some issues. However, I'll say this about dogs a lot of times, is that dogs do a much better job getting over a lot of those things. They can move on better than people can. And then there's also the whole, we don't know the dog's parents. You don't know the dog's parents, you don't know what their temperament was like. To that, I'll say the one great thing about shelters is this, is that they they spend a lot of time assessing these dogs. They do a lot of assessments, behavior assessments. They put them through a lot of tests, a lot more tests than you'll get anywhere else, which is really great. It makes things a lot easier on not only the person who, who adopts a dog, but also the shelter. Now the shelter, they work on placing these dogs in the right home. It's not easy to get one. You can't just show up like you could in the 80s and just go, I'll take that German Shepherd right there. No, the one that's foaming, I'll take that one. It's a much more in-depth process. They do a lot of work to make sure that the dogs are placed into the right homes because they don't want them to come back. They don't want to put the dog through that again. They want them to be, as they say, their forever home. And like I said, adoption is great. It's a great thing. I mean, these two guys here, this is Charlie. This is Baxter. Charlie's from Tennessee. I don't know, 100%, probably. And Baxter here was found, I think he was found right outside the gates of hell, I'm pretty sure. Kidding, I'm kidding. I joke with Baxter a lot. Sorry, buddy. Come on, I was kidding. It was a joke. Settle down. Come on, I know. I'm sorry. Come in. I know, I didn't have you sign the contract. But Charlie, come on. Don't be so offended. I didn't make fun of you. I made fun of your brother. Let's go. Come on. This generation of dogs is so sensitive, am I right? Good boy. All right, he's back. Okay. We're all better now? We're okay? Okay. I'm just messing with him. If he could talk, he'd give it back to me for sure. Speaking of which, if dogs could talk, especially rescue dogs, I think they'd tell us, hey, Mud, do you mind not telling everybody we meet that I'm adopted? Could we keep some, like, family secrets? I mean, every person that we run into, you're like, oh, he was adopted, he was neglected, he was abused. Now, don't get me wrong, it's a phenomenal thing. It's a very, very good thing you can do for dogs. I'm going to kind of talk about temperament for a second because I know it's a wide range and it's hard to rescue, all rescue dogs are, um, which it is, I guess, for any, for any breed too, but you know, you can't really generalize the temperament. You can't because it's just too broad. However, I can talk about the temperament when speaking to people who do have some reservations, again, like I said, on should they adopt? Is it a good idea? And I'll tell you that they're like any other dog. 
I mean, dogs are dogs. Now, assuming you're rescuing the dog from a, from a reputable organization, I don't see an increase in, in nervousness, anxiety. I don't see an increase in aggression. If you're the right fit for that dog, if the organization determines that you're the right fit for that dog, and you guys determine you're the right fit for that dog, then you shouldn't have any issues. You would treat them just like you would any other dog. You want to be firm and fair. You want to stay on top of training. You want to get them into training right away. You want to get them into a good routine that they can follow for the rest of their life. Now, sure, are there some dogs that are rescued and they do have come with some sort of baggage? Absolutely. Um, that, not these guys, not, not, not Charlie for sure, he's perfectly fine. You're not going to have the dog for a year and all of a sudden you wake up in the middle of the night and it's just standing over you with a can of empty soup in his mouth. And you're like, I didn't know we even had that soup in the house. And he's like, we didn't. And you're like, oh, he can talk. Oh no. Like that's not going to happen. Obviously you can increase the chances of your dog having a better temperament. Just like you would any pure breed dog. You can decrease those chances as well. If you don't stay on top of the training, if you're not nice to it, if you're not con consistent with it, if you're not firm enough with it, if you're not the person that this dog feels safe around, obviously it's gonna have some issues. So you wanna just make sure you know what you're doing. And like you would getting any breed, is it the right fit for you? Unfortunately, there's just a ton of dogs out there that need good homes. And guys, if you are thinking about adopting, it absolutely is a great thing to do. Definitely take your time on it. Make sure you're doing it right. Make sure you're getting the right dog for you. Again, the more research you can do, the, the better. And you wanna make sure that you are a good fit for that dog, because think about that dog. Taking a dog from a shelter, bringing it home, and it not working out, and then you having to bring it back, that dog may have missed a golden opportunity in that time frame to be with their forever home. One last thing I'll say is, obviously I do a show on breed review. I've adopted dogs, and I've also gotten dogs from breeders as well. For me, I'm a fan of both. I'm not pro or negative either one. I'm pro being a good dog owner, that's it. Really guys, I, I wanna stress the point that I do really encourage you, if you can, if you want to, absolutely, wonderful thing, give a dog that has no home a forever place to call their own. I think that was a, f I, I, I that, do not let anybody steal that. I think that that rhymed, that, that, was, that was awesome. You guys hear that, that we're putting that on a t-shirt. Thank God I'm recording this. I would never remember that. All right guys, that's it for the rescue dogs. This is Charlie. This is his brother Baxa, both rescue dogs obviously. Both dogs were rescued at different times. They get along great together. Two completely different dogs. Very, very lucky dogs. They went to a great home. They get along so well. They're always together, right? Again, much appreciated you guys. Thank you for watching. I hope you guys had an awesome day with your dogs. Go ahead and click the subscribe button. I'd greatly appreciate it. Winter is upon us, you guys. Holidays are just around the corner, so I hope everybody's in really good space right now. And if you're not, I hope that things get better really soon. I look forward to seeing you guys on the next one. Thanks so much, you guys. I'll see you later. Bye. I, I,